What's up, YouTube? NBA Jerry here. Um, <laughs> you know, me and me and the half truth. Um, you know, we go back and forth a lot. You know, he's a good friend of mine, actually. You know, and he he's funny, man. He's he's very entertaining and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna talk about him. You know, strictly for this video. Um, I'm going to get into some NBA stuff here real, real soon because I got some um, some things I want to talk to you about what I'm seeing so far in the NBA. But this is not an NBA video. It sort of is. But this is about my um, boy, the half truth, you know. And um, for those of you that don't know, um, I know, you know, a good number of NBA players, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm like I said, I'm 38 years old. I've, I've been around the block a little bit here and there in the basketball world and stuff like that. So since I've been on YouTube, I've been contacted by, you know, a handful of NBA players that I didn't know personally, <clears throat> but I know some personally myself. And I'm not saying that to brag or nothing like that. It's not, you know, I'm just telling you that just just in case you didn't know. And uh, I have some confirmation uh, from a reliable source that uh, Mr. LeBron James actually has or has watched uh, the half-truth three four one and a half videos or the true 683s videos and uh he thinks he's funny you know and let me let me let me tell you something first of all you know nba players whoever whoever you are you know everybody watches youtube and especially if you're an nba player or a celebrity or whatever you know you go to youtube and you type your name in well the half truth i don't think there's anybody on here that has made as many videos about LeBron as the half truth, maybe they have, but nobody says the things that, that the half truth says. Uh, and he says them with conviction. And it's funny, you know, he calls LeBron James a, uh, <laughs> he calls LeBron James a role player, you know, and he says it like it's for real, like he really believes that. And, and that is so funny to me because. Uh, the half truth is is all about what he believes in, and he's all about controversy. Controversy sells, you know. And every time I look at his videos, I read the you know the comments underneath them, and I see people just you know getting all upset and mad at him and stuff like that. And uh, to me, he's the mo he's the ultimate entertainer on YouTube. I mean, can you imagine? I'm sure some of you guys have done this. You know, before you knew who he was, the half truth. Before you knew who he was, you actually went to his video. You know, and I just I sit here and think about this when I hear what he says. When you first turn it on, you hear the man saying LeBron James is a role player, and be dead serious when he's saying it. I mean, he be <laughs> he be I mean, he be saying it like he's he's serious about it. And it's, I don't know uh, exactly how many videos LeBron has watched of, of the Half Truth, but I've got some confirmation from a good source that he does watch him. You know, if you talk about somebody enough times on the on YouTube or the Internet, I guess that person will know about it. And, you know, YouTube, the Internet and stuff like that, it, it really shrinks the world down. I mean, think about it. When I upload this video, there will be people in all parts of the country and some places over in, the, in the world that can watch my video within minutes of me uploading it. So it definitely shrinks the world down. You know, but let me let me get into the half truth real quick, you know, and I'm not here to. uh uh, diss him or nothing like that because he's my boy and I don't want him you know because of course I always crush him when we when we <laughs> have our debates or go back and forth everybody knows that except him um, but the thing is I don't want to do to him what he did to that dude up there in Chicago you know I don't want him to change his style up I really don't because if I expose him too much because I can but I just won't because I don't I don't want him to change because he's he's my number one source of entertainment on YouTube he, he really is and I don't want to do anything to change that but what i want to talk about is some of the things that the half truth says uh people really get mad about like for instance uh lebron james is a follower he's not a leader things he says about peyton manning and stuff like that um you know it's funny because people actually get mad at it you know and and they you can tell in the comments and stuff like that and, and i've said this before and i'll say this again you know you shouldn't fight a fight you can't win and what I mean by you can't win, it doesn't matter what you say to the half-truth. You would never, and I mean never, admit. It could be a hundred people watching the video, and every one of the people agrees with you. But there'd be one person, you know, that you, you know, beat them or outdone them, did them or whatever. 
You know, but there's one person that won't believe it. And that's the half truth. He would never admit that he loses, even if he loses. Because to him, losing means that you've changed his mind about LeBron James. And you're not going to change the man's mind. You're just not. It doesn't matter what you say, how much you expose him, how much you own him, whatever. And, you know, he's made a lot of funny videos over the years and stuff like that. And uh, I remember, and I'm not, I, I'm here to, you know, not to discredit him, you know, but, and I'm not going to do that because I give credit where credit's due. But the half-truth, you know, he's funny, you know. I, I, I have some of my favorite videos from him that I really, really enjoy. I, you know, I looked at, you know, I go through the playlists and stuff and I just go back and listen to them because I want to laugh. And a lot of the videos, it's funny, a lot of the videos that's on there are gone. He either put them on private or took them down. I said, man, why, why would he do that? I don't know why he did it. You know, he just did it. Some of the videos I watched. I said, man, why, why is he doing that? You know, and I remember when he would go off on a dude from, um, you know, from Chicago, that crazy guy from Chicago, he would criticize him for the same thing, for taking the videos down. Now, I don't know, you know, I'm not saying it's for the same reasons or nothing like that, but I want him to put them all up. You know, don't, don't take them down. Put them up, you know. And it's funny because, remember, I used the analogy that, uh, you know, the half-truth did to the guy in Chicago what 50 Cent did to Ja Rule. You know, he shut his career down, basically. Shut, made him change his whole style up. And remember when 50 Cent would diss Ja Rule about him singing? He was, oh, you just a singer, you pop singer, and all that stuff. And then, you know, 50 Cent would turn around and start singing. And I was like, man, the, the half-truth was kind of reminding me of, of the dude in Chicago. You know, not only is he telling that man... You know, making fun of him about taking the video down. But now he took his videos down, some of them. You know, I'm like, why, you know. And I'm doing this because I'm, I'm a little sour at him. Because some of the videos are like, he took them, took them off or put them on private. I said, why you do that? You know, so that's my little shot at him. You know, it's, fu it's funny with the half-truth, man. It, it really is. Because, you know, you can't win an argument with somebody uh, that's not going to give in. It doesn't matter. I mean, the man is not going to ever say he's wrong. That You know that's not going to happen. You know, that, that won't happen. So you guys got to, you know, uh, take it with a grain of salt. Watch him laugh. And he's an entertainer. Because anybody that says with conviction that LeBron James is a role player, um, <laughs> you got to, you got to, uh, you know, you got to laugh at that, man. The dude is funny. And he will never change. It doesn't matter what LeBron James does. We're talking about a guy, LeBron James, who has won two championships in a row two finals MVPs in a row, and four MVPs in the last five years. And he's still dissing them like he hasn't done anything. Like he's just a, like he's a scrub. That's how, he, that's how he talks about them, you know. And he has his right to do that. He, he can do that all he wants. But, you know, you guys getting all mad at him, there's, there's no reason for it. You know, you guys can just sit back, watch him laugh, watch him laugh, and, uh, enjoy him man because he is definitely uh, a dude that I sit back and enjoy you know and you know I know he can't you know stick with me in a, in a, a real debate like that you know because he's not uh, he's not up to my level I'm not saying he's stupid or dumb because he's not he's very very smart he's very very smart dude you know but when it comes to the NBA and all that stuff you know he don't even watch a lot of the games. And I'm not talking about league pass. I'm talking about games that be on ESPN and stuff. And that's, this is not me dissing him. This is him admitting it. He'll tell you. You know, I didn't watch the game because I had to get up and go. Uh, you know, I had to go to work tomorrow and I didn't watch the game. But he's, you know, he always comment on it and didn't watch the game. You know, so I'm not going to use uh, the, the crazy dude stuff and up in Chicago and say, oh, you know, this guy doesn't have league pass and all that. It has nothing to do with league pass. You know, to me, he does he does know about a lot about basketball, the half truth. But uh, his views are just different than mine, and I and I respect him. But I know uh, a guy that says LeBron James is a role player isn't a guy that I know uh, can stick with me in a basketball argument. And that's all I'm gonna say. So the half truth, hey man, you know you always mentioning my names in videos, and you know going off and calling me Le Jerry James and all that. Hey, don't change it. You know, don't don't change them, but put all your videos back up. You know, I've talked about this on the phone with them. You know, I've asked them, so I'm gonna call them out on it now. You know, because some of the videos just just are just gone. You know, and then his boy. I don't know if y'all know his boy. He's got a dude, his friend. Uh, his name is Reggie, 
and his friend Reggie's he's he's a lot like Corey, except he uses uh <laughs> he uses foul language and he's got a deep voice. You know, so I guess uh, Cor uh Corey's homeboy Reggie just took a page out of his book. He took all his videos down too. You know, Reggie from Reggie's Rants. And that's that dude right there. Corey, you know, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. I think Reggie's my favorite, man, because he just be going off. You know, he basically says everything that Corey says, but he says it with, with curse words and stuff like that. So the half truth, listen, man, you my boy and all that stuff, man. But if you ever think you can deal with me as far as the NBA and uh you know debating me, you know you don't have a chance and everybody knows that. You know, but the only thing is, folks and people, everybody knows that the man's wrong but him. You know, they have to. Just because you say it's a fail or you say it's wrong, don't mean it's a fail or it's wrong. You know, every time somebody makes a video about him, he'll write it down. Hey, I'm going to write, you know, he'll write down the points and say, oh, look, look, look. Oh, that's a fail. This, this, that, you know. He makes some valid points here and there, but some of the stuff he just basically just say that's a fail. So to him, that's a fail or, you know, you lose or whatever. Well, since you like to write stuff down, you know, in your, in your little, um, you know, when people dish you, write this down. All right. Because I know you are. So just do me a favor and write this down. LeBron James, the two-time champion, two-time finals MVP, four out of the last five MVPs, which doesn't mean as much as the champions. And we'll see if they're, they're going to win the championship this year. We'll see. And I also want you to write this down, too. Write down, you know, because he's saying, he keeps saying, oh, I promise, you know, the promise video. I promise LeBron's going to win the championship. I mean, not going to win. I promise that. You know, so him saying he promises that LeBron's not going to win the championship, that means it's going to go through, according to him. That's not a, that's not a, <laughs> that's not a big deal for you to make that kind of uh, prediction, homie. Okay? There's 30 teams. In the NBA, so he's got one chance out of against 29 other teams. So that's 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 not a big deal. Him doing that, not winning the championship. So do me a favor and write down who is gonna win the championship. Don't tell me who's not gonna win. That's easy. I can pick. Oh, this team won't win, and I got a one out of 30 chance. You know, one chance out of I have a good chance basically for that team not to win because 29 other teams to, to beat. Tell me who's gonna win. So your next video, when you write your little points down and all that stuff, tell me, we already know he's not going to win, so we don't need to hear that again. Tell me who's going to win. All right, since you, the, I guess you the prophet and everybody, uh, whatever you says goes, which it didn't because the, the Heat won the championship the last two years. And uh, tell me who's going to win. And also another thing, too. When you're talking about the regular season, does a regular season matter or not? You always say, Oh, the regular season don't matter. MVPs don't matter. Okay, cool. I, I got that part. You know. But the thing is, it only matters when LeBron loses. You see, folks, if LeBron wins in the regular season and does great in the regular season, has a good game, the regular season don't matter. But when LeBron James does bad, it matters all of a sudden. So it's hard to be, be the guy that doesn't, you know, go by his own rules. You know, when you change your own rules up and, um, you know, it's hard to beat a guy like that. It doesn't play fair. You know, I'm not saying he's a cheater or nothing like that, but, you know, but this is a long video. Uh, you know, I just wanted to, uh, you know, throw something out there to the to the half truth since he's always uh, calling me Jerry James and all that old stuff. It's just funny. I don't want you to change it. Keep saying what you're saying. Keep going off. Write, write down all your little points. You know, get your pen and paper out. But make sure you write this down. Write down who's going to win the championship. And if you want to make a little wager on that, because we know we're not going to heat the Heat are not going to win, we'll make a wager saying, "Hey, uh, you got to say, I don't know, uh, something on YouTube or something like that if you lose or whatever." Just saying the Heat ain't going to win the championship. That's not a big. That's not a big deal. All right. So let me know what you guys think about the half truth, because he is the half truth. Okay. And what I mean by the half truth, meaning he doesn't, you know, completely lie or nothing like that, but he only tells half the truth. And what I mean by that is he'll say, oh, LeBron didn't win. You know, LeBron didn't do this, but he won't tell the other side when Wade 
uh, was the reason they lost or something like that. You know, I'm not saying Wade is the reason lost, but you know what I'm saying about the half truth because he is the half truth. I'll be with Jerry James. That's fine. You know, LeBron's my favorite player. I don't. That's not uh, nothing to be ashamed of. You know, but just because he's my favorite player, that doesn't mean I'm a LeBron lover. You know, <laughs> but don't stop saying it. Keep saying it. I don't want to shut you down like Fifty did. Ja Rule. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing your little antics. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. You know, all these guys you're going against or whatever. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna speak on them. But I can speak on me. And I'm going to tell you something, boy. You ain't got a chance against NBA Jerry. And you know that. So, and, and let me let me say this too, folks. Like I said, he's my homeboy. The half-truth is my friend, man. For real. Like, we talk on the phone several times a week. Sometimes on daily. And it's almost like a thing we got going on where, you know, we got two personalities you know i'm jerry he's Corey. so when we talk on the phone i'm jerry he's Corey, and we talk have good conversations talk about life and stuff like that you know but then we get on youtube we're almost like uh frenemies you know we go off on each other back and forth and stuff like that and we don't like we don't really mention it on the phone a lot we just you know talk on the phone what you know he is who he is on the phone he's still you know he called lebron scotty pippen james and all the other stuff but you know, <clears throat> sometimes you could tell on the phone, he he could feel that little sting of me, you know, owning him on YouTube and stuff like that. He won't say it, but, you know, he'll get mad and send me one-word answers and stuff like that. But, you know, he's uh, he's a little mad right now because LeBron is the MVP, the reigning MVP, and most importantly, uh, he's the champion. You know, so say the man's not a winner because he's been to the finals four times and won twice. That's just, uh, that's the half-truth that is best. Saying the man ain't a winner, you know. So let me know what you guys think about the half truth. Uh, if you guys want me to, you know, keep going at him, I will. Because this is just too easy, you know. Like I said, I'm I'm taking it easy on this guy, you know, because he's my friend. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, LeBron, if you're listening, uh, we'll keep him. We'll keep him coming, man. You know, and you keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you guys got a tough road this year, man. You know, a lot of parody. So we'll see what happens to Half Truth. Let me know what y'all think. All right. Thanks.